guys, it's Brooke from The Vintage Gardener. Welcome back to my channel. So this is day two of me working on the backyard bed. So I know the camera shut off the last time. So what you missed me doing was basically sweeping and kind of edging this. And I'm going to get some, um, I'm sure you can see these like gray stones. I'm going to get some additional to kind of line this curve right here just to give it a more definite edge because the brick right, runs right up to it and it's kind of easy for the dirt to spill over top of it. So I'm going to be planting two different types of flowers today and I'm going to work on getting some more white plants. Um, I'm actually going to buy them this year rather than because I haven't didn't have time to grow them from seed. So I've got hydrangea and I've also got some double impatient so let me grab the camera okay guys so the first plant up are hydrangeas so this is blushing bride hydrangea and it is by endless summer and it gets between three to six feet high by three to six feet wide so well we'll see if it actually does uh from what i remember i think this one probably stays a little bit more on the compact side i think if it gets six feet, you know what? It's all good. I'll just have to clear it. Actually, I think I have enough room so even if this one gets six feet wide, it won't hit the um, the, the compressor. Um, they'll definitely intermingle and create more like a hedge, but that's fine. So I actually started it three feet away because I don't want the roots affecting the foundation. And so I, they're going to go exactly in those spots. So I'm just going to grab my shovel and dig a hole. Now, for the impatience, they only, by the time I got them, they only had like 10. And I just want, they didn't actually look like this with all the yellow leaves. Uh, this, I think, is a combination of too much sun because I had them in a partial shade area, but I think they need a lot more shade than that. So I'm going to plant these. I'm going to give them some fertilizer and I think that will take care of the yellowing leaves. So actually I'm going to cut them back, just trim them back just a little bit. I do have see some blooms on here. I think they'll be okay once I get them in the ground and get them situated. But um, the these are called Sweet Blossom Impatience. Silhouette, oh, excuse me. It's called Silhouette Apple Blossom. It's a double impatient. And so it gets between... Uh, 10 to 12 inches high and you space it between 12 to 14 inches so originally I was going to space it every foot but because I only have 10 and I'm definitely not going to this entire length right here is definitely more than 10 feet what I'm going to do is I'm going to space it every um, two feet and then in between it, I'm going to get just regular white impatience and put for and put in there um, you can't tell by looking at this let me see if I can focus in on the bloom you can't really tell by looking at this, but this is like a really is more of a blush, and I think especially now back here because this area is so shady, I think you'll see the blush. It'll be a little bit more obvious. I had this in an area that got a little bit more sun, which it was still partial shade. It was on the north side of my house, but apparently I still got get a lot of sun exposure over there, so it kind of faded the colors. So I'm going to set the camera up. Um, I'm going to be using my cobalt uh, a drill with an auger bit. And so um, I really like this. I think I figured out what I did wrong the last time because the auger kept coming out. But what I didn't realize is that you actually have to use the chalk to tighten in each one of these holes and it does have a handle to hold on to and I somehow loosened the handle the last time but I figured out how to straighten that out so I think it'll work better. So let me get everything set up and um, this bit it, even though it's probably two inches I but if you just kind of wobble it around the hole you can make it a lot uh, the hole a lot bigger. So let me set everything up and we'll get ready to go. Enchanté. 
Okay, guys, so, got the, um, I'm gonna have to get a shovel. There's a lot of roots down there, and so it's causing an issue with the auger, but it made a great hill, a hole, and I think in the areas closer to the edge of the bed, it's probably gonna work a little bit better. But I'm sure you could see at first I was having some difficulty. So, you know, most drills have a forward, you know, they go in forward, and then you take them in reverse to get them out of the hole. Um, all of the drills I have, I had a Black & Decker and I also have a Craftsman. Um, on the side of, on the, on the hand, I guess the hand, the handle, um, the forward was always on the right side and the rear, rear was on the left. And I assumed that was kind of standard. Apparently it's not because this one, uh, the reverse is actually, if you have, it, it's just weird. So when I looked at the thing, I realized that I had actually put it in the reverse. So at first it was fighting against me. Once I got it in the right direction, of course, then it went down better. But like I said, there's a lot of roots, I'm sure, from this big tree. So I'm going to go grab my shovel and I'm going to uh, get these holes a little bit deeper. Um, not much, just a little bit. It's just the roots are down there. And then I'm going to plant the impatience. So I will be right back. So I planted everything and I don't think you guys could see that because of course I had the camera tip up wrong. There were some real, some hardcore roots down there. So now that I finished that, I am going to start planting the impatience. Okay, so I'm done. I thought I had 10 plants. Apparently it was only eight, but hey, that's fine. I'm sure you guys kind of noticed I was clipping them back and I'm sure they'll, they'll reflush and they'll be a, uh, a bushier plant. I just wanted to reduce the amount of plant the roots have to support. Uh, so before I give them a water, I'm actually gonna come, I'm going to um, sweep and then I'm gonna mulch the area because I do have enough mulch, I think, to cover this entire area. And then, you know, I'll get other white plants to fill in, uh, primarily annuals, because I may get th some things like um, bearded irises in the fall. But, um, you know, my big thing is I got to keep that um, the con condenser for this mini split clear. Uh, but I'll probably be filling in with other things until, you know, cause it's going to take a couple of years for those hydrangea to fill in. And once they do, of course, that'll be the main the main plant back here. So let me go get some mulch and we are good to go. 